Good morning, this is Cindy. Welcome to my challenge into Marguerite Miller, week 17. This week, I had so much fun collecting things, and I think you're going to be really happy with what ends up being. Stick around because I have an image that's gonna go on at the end that will bring all of this mess together. So, I'm going to start at the bottom. The first one was a bonus lines. And I know most people are doing like lines paper or lines across their, their page or whatever. I have a bachelor's degree in theater arts. I am married to a theater director. He's been directing for over 40, almost 45 years. My daughter is the stage manager. So when I think of lines, I think of a script. I think of running lines, of learning lines. So to me, lines are a script. So I have a script here. And I'll tell you why I chose this script as we go through here. Um, a stamp. I have a stamp here. Let me find it. There it is. With a bird on it, a barn swallow. I have that specifically for something. Um, something with a weather related theme and again i was thinking okay i need a bird and i need something related to weather and then i remembered my favorite line from william shakespeare if i if if my senior year we had in our yearbook if we had had senior quotes this one would have been mine i am but net mad north northwest when the wind is southerly i know a hawk from a handsaw it's from Hamlet, Act 2, Scene 2. Um, I'm going to have to do a little bit of piecing because unfortunately in the in the copy of Hamlet that I was willing to tear up, it is not on the same page. But I am but mad north, northwest means I'm insane when I want to be. But when the wind is southerly, I know a hawk from a handsaw, but I'm really not insane at all. I, I, this is a put on. That's what Hamlet is telling Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. A hawk in this case is actually a small pickaxe. That's what Shakespeare's audience would have recognized it as. But we take it as a hawk, like a bird, like a bird. So I have a theme going here. I have a hawk and a handsaw and a weather related piece. I'm, I'm, I got this together. A number or a string of numbers. Nothing says that string of numbers has to be horizontal. Mine is vertical. It's the table of contents from that page, that book that I'm now taking pages out of. A food packaging label. Well, I go on with this whole bird thing. I've got a bird here. I have a stamp with a bird on it. I have a hawk or a, the difference between a hawk and a handsaw. So I wanted something bird related. So I have Turkey Hill premium ice cream. I'm not gonna use the whole image, but I got Turkey Hill. And I have an image of a turkey to go with it. So there's another bird. I also have, as far as birds go, I have a couple of stamps that I can choose from. And then I have a whole envelope that says birds on it. And these are birds that I have collected over time and we'll find something in there in a bit. So I want to talk about my page that I have down here. Some of you will wreck it. Oh, sorry, I got an ant that startled me. Hang on, pausing. Unpausing. Sorry about that. The ant is, uh, it is definitely that time of year. Bugs are coming out. It is spring. So this particular page I have covered with, a. I just wanted a very neutral, plain background. I didn't want it to get in the way of everything else because I am definitely have a theme here going and I will tell you what it is. I mean, you'll see it. It'll all come together at the very end, I promise. But I found this paper and I thought I have to use it. Those of you who are of a certain age will recognize that this is from a, da from a really old paper for a daisy wheel printer dot matrix daisy wheel printer and as i say that you just heard in your head the zzzz and the click 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 of the keys of, of the the printer making the noises you know you did 
So this is uh, an old piece of paper and I decided to keep it and I decided I wanted to keep the edge just because why not? Okay, I'm going to put my quote right in the very center. And I don't need that section. And I really don't want, I don't know if I can do this or not. I probably should have done it before I tried to take off the big piece. It says F2, scene two, Hamlet. And I just don't want that section at the moment. Okay, I know a hawk from a handsaw. Let me put that aside. Would have been nice if this was all on a page, but unfortunately, it does. It was not okay. I am but mad north northwest when the wind is southerly. I know a hawk from a handsaw. Where's my glue book? I have to have my glue book on my right. I don't know why. I'm right-handed. Maybe that has something to do with it. I'll grab my glue. But I'm deciding to put it on this piece of paper, a, a contrasting color, because I want it to show up. I want it to be special. So I want it... That's why I am setting it off this way. There. Okay, and now I'm going to glue my piece of paper down. And this is just a, actually a piece of scrap from something else. Who knows what? You never know what you might get around here. And I want it right in the center because that's my focus. All right, so I need a number or a string of numbers. Let me pull that out. That's my table of contents. This blank sheet doesn't have anything on it. That's gonna be great for stamping on. I didn't do that particularly straight, but I'm gonna save those for stamping on. Okay, I'm not exactly sure where I want it, but I'm going to put it up there for now. So that's my food packaging label. I definitely need to cut this down. I don't need this much Turkey Hill ice cream. This is from the top part of it. Okay, how much do I want? Well, I know I don't want the ice cream cone because that does not fit with my theme at all so let's go this way and we'll take you out as well maybe we'll just flip right over there okay those can be thrown away i don't know what i'm going to do with my ice cream cone or my thing yet but i'm thinking let's even you up a little bit here Turkey Hill, and I'm, I'm going to stick one of my turkeys next to it because, you know, why not? All right, I have um, something with my weather-related theme. This is it. When the wind is southerly, I know a hawk from a handsaw, and I have birds. Now, I have big birds, or I can go with little birds, so let's see what we have in here. So I have a little bird here, but that's too little. And that's a bird and on a thing, and that goes with it, and that goes with it. So I don't want any of those. Uh, that's not so much of a bird, is it? I don't know why that's in there. Okay. I have herons. I have a nuthatch. That's kind of nice. I like the cardinal. Ooh, I like the heron. Oh, there we go. Hawk from a handsaw. And there's a red tail hawk. There's another hawk. Okay, sorry, Heron. You just got trumped. 
by, oh, there's a little birdie, some cardinals, some ducks, an eagle, but I don't think I want the eagle. I want the hawk because I want the hawk from my handsaw. All right, let me put these guys away, get rid of those and get that out of my way. Which one of you do I want to use? I don't want to use all three of you. I know a hawk. Of course, now I should probably put in a handsaw. I want the big hawk. I want the hawk in flight. I don't think I want the hawk in flight. He almost looks like a penguin in the way he's standing. Okay, you're it. There's my bird. Okay, a number or a string of numbers, a food packaging label, something weather related, a bird, a stamp. Where'd my stamp go? Because I want this kind of stamp, but I could do the other kind of stamp too. I'm saving this corner. That's going to be for something special that will bring the whole thing together. It really will. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and get out my bird stamps and get this guy right here. He's kind of looking back over his shoulder. Where's my, sorry for my reach. There we go. I want him right here. Now that's settled down. Yep. Okay. We're getting there. Let me put, let me uh, go ahead and glue things down and I will be right back. Hang on a sec. Okay. I am back. These pieces are all now set down and I realized I am, I need to put in my lines. I mean, I have a line, but it's lines plural. So I'm going to put that here. This is not the surprise that's coming in here. This is not the piece that's going to pull it. Well, it's partly going to pull it all together, but not quite. It's not the piece de resistance. I'm sure I just said that wrong. But I'm going to go ahead and put this down here in the corner. This is Hamlet with Rosencrantz and Guildenstern and Polonius. And I like the last line says, the actors are come hither, my lord. That also helps to pull this together because I have Hamlet. I have weather related. I have birds. Speaking of birds, let me put on my little turkey down here. For my turkey hill. And I want to do my stamping. Let me grab my black. And I want to stamp in my bird. Okay, let's do it this way. I think it's, I tend to get, make it just a little bit less messy when I do that. Okay, and I like him looking over his shoulder. Okay. Yeah, that's a little bit, it's okay. It'll do. It will do. Stamp that off. It's starting to get full here. I'm going to have to do another one soon. All right, get rid of that. All right. So, here's your clue. Well, first of all, let's double check. Number or a string of numbers, food packaging label, something with a weather-related theme, a bird, a stamp, and lines. So everything is there. I am going to put this actually on the flip side because I don't want it as a part of the picture today. It will not, it won't fit. So I'm going to put this here and I'm going to put an arrow that way. It would help if I had a pen that worked. There we go. So that everybody knows that that goes with this particular page. And here is the perfect piece. You ready? Alfred Hitchcock. You get it? North, Northwest, the birds. He deals with actors and lines. He pulls the whole thing together. 
Thank you, Alfred, for all of the wonderful movies that you gave us that still scare the pants off me. The actors are come hither, my lord. And there we go. So there we go for Marguerite Miller, week 17. I think this is definitely my favorite one so far. If you are enjoying this channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit like to let YouTube know that you're enjoying it. And have an absolutely wonderful weekend. This is Cindy signing off.